Good morning, internet type people. I'm wearing the same shirt I wore yesterday for a while, but I have some makeup on today. Wild. Uh, just finished getting ready. Do a little lay in today. Last week, do whatever, because I usually stay in and there's a cat paw. And drink tea and coffee here because I'm not gonna go out and pay for tea and coffee. But I was like, last week, let's go get some tea and coffee. Let's go work while we drink coffee somewhere. And then we're taking this little stinker to the vet. Or maybe Luke's just taking the little stinker. I don't know yet. Gosh, dang it. He's being a little stinker. So that's what we're doing right now. It's gonna be a wild, wild day. So excited. I'm the worst vlogger ever. I talked to you this morning and then I haven't again. We went to that coffee shop, worked there, got back home. So you went to the vet, got microchipped, did not like it, Luke said, I wasn't there. And then we worked at home. And now it's, we're at Tesco because we're going over to Ben's house and we need to buy candy to watch this movie because what's a movie without candy? That's what we're doing and then we're gonna go to Ben's house. And I'm not gonna film there because that's weird. So just gonna continue this tomorrow because I did a hoop job at this today. So last time we were going to Ben's house, we also stopped at this place because we were early. And now we're early again, so we're here again. So we have 15 minutes to chug a beer. Let's do it. That's not, we, we have plenty of time to drink a beer. It's gonna be good. I got another old moot cider. They're my favorite, some summer, summer berries. And we've got a Corona. So good, so good. We're back home now. Got ready for bed. Gonna go to bed. Gonna fill my water bottle. Um, Effie made me a bracelet. She made me and her matching bracelets, and it's I'm never taking it off because it's the best thing ever. And gave me some fairy dust. So we both got to talk about how, well, when I was younger, and her currently had fairies, and loved fairies, and like same girl. I love you so much. I'm gonna miss her. She's the best person in the world. And Ben made great food, and Sam is the funniest person and sassiest person, and I just like her a lot. I like their whole family a lot. And so that's that's what we did. We watched Harry Potter. I'm gonna have to rewatch it because I don't really still don't know what happens in it. Never read it, but the movie. Anyway, I'm going to bed now. Good night, see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Ziggy has been half cuddling, half biting. But just oh, it won't leave me and it's so cute. It's late. I'm just this this week is not it's just, you know, just savoring it. Looks at the gym. It's nine. I'm getting out of bed now. I have just work to do today. I have my weekly meeting with my boss at 3.30. And I have a phone interview today with the company at 6. So that should be fun and um, nice progress. I really would love this job. I'm not... I am sure that there are other very qualified candidates um, who have applied for this, but it's really cool. And that'll be, it's just nice that this is like the first interview I have. Even if it's just a phone interview, but it's kind of nice. It's like a little progress. Yay! Luke and I are going to see his aunt and uncle, Matt and Liz, the best. Okay, the cat's attacking my hand again. They're so cool. And we're going to go get curry with them tonight. So that should be fun. That's the plan for the day. Hi again, everyone. It is 7.30. Um, I last spoke to you this morning at like 9.30, so it's been, it's, it's been a full day. Nothing's happened. I worked. I worked, 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 worked. Did a lot of work, so I don't have to work the next two days and other stuff, and probably not like Monday or Tuesday next week, because I did too much, as per usual. There's just a lot I want to get done. And then, um, had a the phone interview. It was an hour long. So now, uh, we are driving, speeding, quickly to to Alcester. Alster, yeah. To go to Curry like, is it the basement curry place? It's the cellar, yeah. Yes! Oh, yes! Last time I went to Alster there was a place that Luke said was curry and it is underground. It's underground curry. It's in their cellar. And so we're going there. And I'm very excited now. Uh with Madness. I'm wearing this top I got Ted Baker. I realize that why are these way over here? They feel like way over there for straps. Um, but yeah, it's great. I'm so hungry. So there have been, there's uh, been two news stories in the past two months. So I've never seen this before. In July, what is this? In, in the UK, so in July in Wales. Oh, you're just telling a story? Yeah, I'm telling a story. Oh, okay. A seagull fell into a vat of curry and needed to be rescued and it died in orange. And there was an orange seagull flying around Wales. 
yesterday, the same thing happened down south in a fat carry. What? It went down to a building? Got into a building and stuck, like was in a vat of curry and needed to be rescued. So there's now like these two little bright orange curry infested seagulls flying around. I want that to be me tonight. Oh, <laughs> you want to get into that bowl <laughs> yeah. of curry and turn orange. Drink my way out. I want, like, an I want to have to be saved by my own stomach by eating my way out of curry. Yeah. That's how hungry you are. Exactly. How else was your day, Luke? My day was a lot of uh, just work because we've got tomorrow Friday off, so. Boop, boop. We're going afternoon tea tomorrow I'm again. Passing. Are we going to Thornbury? Yeah. Okay, I couldn't pick. I could not pick. You My FOMO pick. was so hard. We need to book it some? Yeah. You didn't pick. I told you I can't pick. I told you to pick one of the two. So you have to pick. It's your last day. No! I <laughs> I do have too much fear missing out about this. I'm like, no, I don't want to pick that, that one. Because what's the other one? Are you screaming? Oh! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got on my phone and booked Thornbury Castle. Okay, I have to book our afternoon tea for tomorrow because we have the day off. And if Thornberry's not there, then we'll go to the other one. Yes. Okay, we'll see how this is going. Okay, the afternoon tea conundrum is solved. Just wanted to let you know we were listening to you. Also, this looks like a tube top with straps on it. I I don't know how I'm feeling about this anymore, but that's fine. Um, like Ten dollars. Yeah, so it's, I'm not too upset about it. Um, I want to let you know about the podcast we're listening to that Luke has been listening to, and I'm just listening to the first episode on episode seven. I will go re-listen to it now because it's so great. It's called My Dad Wrote a Porno. Would you like to tell them more about it, Luke? Basically, uh, this guy, he's probably in his 30s, got back home for like a family weekend or something, and his dad was like, I've written something. Can you proofread it for me? And he read the first chapter, no, read the first page, realised it was an erotic novel, phoned up his two mates and said, we're reading this for a podcast. So they're, yeah, they're reading it. And it's just, it's called Belinda Blinked. What book. is her last name? Uh, I can't remember her Blinked? last name. Blinked? That's not oh. her last name. Oh, The blinked. opening lines are Belinda Blinked. Oh. Like, with her eyes. She, she blinked her eyes, got it. Um, <laughs> it's, wow, this dad is the strange, it's the strange thing ever. It's hilarious. He has no idea about women, women's anatomy. Or just, just, just writing. A right boob popped out. <laughs> it's um, it's great. <laughs> you, I recommend this. We made it. Look, the cellar. We're here. The cellar restaurant, Indian restaurant and bar. Well, well. See, see, you gotta go downstairs. Downstairs. Okay, yeah. we're gonna eat. We're back home. I'm in pajamas. It is bedtime. Um, that was the best Indian food I've ever had in my life. I've never had a better curry in my life. That's not an exaggeration. Like, there's no place I can top that. That was incredible. So I'm going to bed. And I will see you tomorrow. It's Thursday. I have to pack tomorrow. And we're also doing fun things tomorrow. But I have to pack. And then we're leaving early on Friday to go to Manchester and I go home. I'm just not gonna go home. I'm just gonna stay here. I'm just gonna miss my flight. Like, oops, sorry. Oh, I can't leave. I hate it. Good night, everyone. Mm -hmm.